in the last video we looked at offsets I don't mean migos then in this video I just showed you this that um, I just showed you the jumbotron offset one thing just in case you ever need it but generally this one solve our problem because we have we have two problems here first of all let us compare um, Udemy what we have on Udemy with what we have here on Udemy first thing you have to observe is that the distance like this is wide look at it. it's wide keep your eye here let me switch to us so that as is stopping here where while Udemy is only stopping here so let's increase it first uh, let's solve one problem at a time so here to increase it we might want to use let's say height oh, 500 pixels oh, sorry I think this works Really? I think it's generally like this. If this doesn't work, then we have to use style. Style equal to height 500 pixels. Cool. So refresh, and we're good. So um, we've got the height now. The next problem we have is that this thing according to Udemy is a little lower on the page. Let's look at what Udemy offers. Hot sale, it's a little lower, but ours is a little up. See, ours is up. Let me refresh it. Ours is up, but hot sale is a little lower. And then if you look at the alignment, you see that ours, our text is getting to this point, but according to what is obtainable on Udemy, all the texts stopped here. Then all the uh, the form stops here. The rest of the page is empty. All right. So we, we will need to achieve that, and uh, which means this particular div, um, we using just an empty random div like this to dump things inside, uh, wouldn't cut the problem for us. So we need to use. Um, let's go and take a look at grid system again. Remember in the in the video. I, and when we first started, I told you to read up this page. Go to Bootstrap Documentation, click on Grid, and read up the whole page. So if you scroll down on the Grid page to Vertical Alignment, so um, somewhere here, Vertical Alignment, if you click on it, you see that it shows how three several elements can be aligned on a div. So the first one is if you set it to look at the code here, items align items start. It will put all the elements at the top. If you say uh, align item center, it will put it in the center, and then this one is to put it at the bottom. In our own case, we want it at the bottom or towards the bottom or in the middle. So we'll try both of them and see which one works first. So let's start with the middle. But to do that, um, remember what container does to a page. Container puts everything in the middle in a page in which case we don't really need the offset we need to put it in a container that's one thing then secondly uh, in this case this container contains another div inside that has a row and each row contains a column i think uh, we just need to when i copy it and paste you understand all right then another thing is let me quickly fix a problem that uh, i saw that i made a mistake when i was creating this i used div instead of li let me show you in the form in the form here i use div instead of li so if you use div you should con convert yours to li all right so that the form will be an li that's just it nothing there so we're back we are back to here so we copy we're gonna copy this Control c on my keyboard come to this place inside the jumbotron Control v paste it so I'm going to delete three of the rows. This thing has three rows. The first row, look at it. It has um, an ID of row, the second row, and the third row. So let us delete the third row and um, item center row. So the difference between all of them is just the alignment, the item start, item whatever. So I'm going to delete this. So good. So far, so good. In Bootstrap, if you create remember that i told you you could divide it divides the screen into four places into 12 places so if you do if you wanted something to be divided into three equal parts you can do co four co four co four 
but Bootstrap 4 is also smart that if you don't do code 4, if you don't mention anything at all, it will divide it equally among the divs that are available. So if I did something like this, if I keep adding more div, it will be dividing it equally among them. So in this case, we just have one div. Let's see what this is first of all. Let us see what it looks like first. So we have them as, as you can see divided it into three equal parts. Take note that it's automatically aligned it. The reason it's aligned is because it's inside the container class. All right, so we don't need these two extra divs in our case. And at the same time, we want this to be code four so that it will take only one third of the page. Then the things inside it, we will delete this and then we come and copy what we have here already. So copy. So now we've copied it. We have to delete this offset one. We don't need it. We just improvised it to, to learn how it works. So I'll control V and we're good. So basically we created a container inside the Jumbotron. The container aligns items to the center and um, occupies only um, one third of the screen and then has it everything inside. So let's go and see what it would look like. Refresh. You see, looks perfect to me. Looks perfect. Then we have too many text here. Let's write exactly what is on Udemy's page. So if we come to this place, we can copy hot sale on Udemy's page. Uh, we can instead of hello world we can do hot sale control v hot sale minus nine dollars then um what's the next thing we have on udemy get your best deal on courses control copy get your best deal on courses so the class note that the class here is called lead so inside the jumbotron the the subtitle is usually lead, then the rest is um, um, like an, just a P tag, which is a paragraph tag. So we can refresh. It's getting to the point that I have to stop this video so that we can continue. Even though this looks cool, but to me, it's not wonderful because as you can see, look at compare the two of them. Let me refresh this. So this one is up and there's too much space at the bottom compared to what we have here. Uh, in the next video, I'll remove some of this and clear up um, everything, all right? So which means I might, instead of center, we might just do end. See you in the next video.